Ooh, ooh, you got him stuck in a pattern. Oh my god! Oh my god! It's Friday night at your local mascot clearance event. <laughs> We're clearing them all out. Everything must go from Arrow to, uh, uh, uh what's, what's Booger the Man. Booger Man. Wow, just the A's, A's and B's, huh? <laughs> Sorry, We're, it's a very, it's a very, it's a Look, it's, it's a warehouse just stacked with mascots. We have to clear out what's at front at first, so if anyone has interest in mascots, beginning with the letters A or B, place your bids tonight. <laughs> we've got Booger Man, we've got Bubsy, we've got Bob the Bill... Akuji the Heartless. Fuck! Fuck, how could I forget? Fuck! Game <laughs> over, I'm done. No, no. Hi, everybody. Welcome Hi. to Mascot Friday, where we play and rank the mascot platformers of your youth and put them on trial for their crimes. <laughs> Depending on what you see tonight, you will decide whether these games are better or worse than Bubsy for the Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis, so, so do keep that in mind. It's going to be a tough choice this week. All right, we should introduce ourselves. Here's Danny. Yeah, here's me. Hello. I'm here. Oh, I'm not working again. You're never working. <laughs> You're always broken. You're never working. You never show up, even when we get Mega Man here to, to do everything for hey, us. Hey, I showed up. I showed... Oh, did I work? Did I work? No, I'm being banned. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> Typical One. Alex, catatonic when Mega Man's here. We finally booked this guy. I was working before the show. See, look at this. After so many years of trying to book this guy, he's all like, oh, Capcom's going to make a new game for me. I can't appear on your rinky-dink streamer show. <laughs> Well, while Alex gets uh, okay, am I gets okay? There up here. I go. Oh, nice, nice. Hello. Okay, I got some folks to thank. Yeah, yeah. Thank the folks. Okay, okay. So, real quick, thank you, Vagrant Wastrel, fifty-three month resub. You know, if you want to enrage people, just rank the DOS version of Mega Man X as a base ranking. No. I was, I was tempted. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Yaddle, forty-four month resub. I could really go for some Migas, man. Mm. Uh, me too. Me too. Yeah, yeah. I fixed the bonk. Sorry, I had the bonks turned off for the intro, so you didn't bonk us during the intro. But when they're back. <laughs> Thank you, Sepasai19, for the 100 bits. Do appreciate that. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to you, Sepasai. Thank you, Neo Zero, for the six-month resub. That's a whole half year. Thank you so much. A whole half year. Thank you. A half year. Thank you, Celtape9091, five-month resub. I'm throwing down the gauntlet now. Two better than three. Ooh, we'll have to see. Oh, my God. We're going to have so many arguments. Ooh. Thank you for the sub. Thank you, no problems, for the 71-month resub. Really do appreciate that. That's, That's so a lot of months. That's so goddamn many months. Thank and you for cookies. that. And cookies. Thank you. Thank you very, very, very much to Nick Chaotix. Ten gift subs. What the? Yeah. Ten gift and subs. And thank you. Welcome to the sub club, everyone. Thank you. Thank you and so much. I really appreciate that. Mm -hmm. And thank you, a Cifra Cat. 13-month resub. A baker's a dozen of a resub, baby. He has a blaster for a hand. Mega Dan and Alex. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> it's true. It's true what they say. Oh, nice. Thank you, Infinite Candy, for gifting five subs. Thank you so oh, very much. Oh, my goodness. I didn't see that. Thank you. I, I really appreciate like Infinite that. Infinite Candy. Yeah, I, I would like Infinite Candy if that's a thing you can enable for uh, for yeah, the real world. It's like in the, Please, uh, someone flip that debug switch for me. <laughs> I'd appreciate it. <laughs> Just put in the game genie of life. Thank you, 68K Heart, 41-month resub. Oh, boy, I hope this obscure little scrimblow no one's ever heard of can do better than Bubsy. We'll, we'll give see. him a chance. We'll give him a chance to, to make his voice heard, but we shall see. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Kirik, for the three-month resub. I'm excited for this one, pals. I've had two shots of rum, so let's fucking go. Let's go. Oh, hell yeah. Let's go. The Thank rum you. pals, I, I guess we're going, huh? Let's go. Let's start things off. Guess what? There was this game called Mega Man, released in 1987 here in the United States. Known in Japan as Rockman. He quickly gained a reputation uh, for being called the Blue Bummer for bringing up inappropriate subjects <laughs> out of nowhere and oversharing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But despite that, he managed to have a long-running series. People tend to like these games. But are they better than Bubsy? Are that's, they? That's what we're going to find out tonight. Alex, I have some gamer challenges for you tonight. How much of the original Mega Man have you played? Um, Some of it. I want... You You have an opportunity to, to finish one of two gamer challenges. I okay. want you to... A, B, 
beat Cutman's level, including the Cutman boss himself, <laughs> or and or if you want to do both and overachieve, you can do both. I want you to finish Gutsman's level. No, but I'll do my best. <laughs> All right. Alex's gamer cred is being challenged in real time since I'm gatekeeping him for no reason here. All right, cut man? Yeah. Cut man. You can uh, turn down things on our end oh, a little. Oh, yeah. There I've we heard go. this soundtrack before. But you know, the, you know this audio. Oh, my God, Mega Man. So, we're going to discuss this in much detail later on, but this game, a little bit fucked up compared to the two next games we're going to see. But still, for 1987, this shit's, like, way ahead of the curve, right? <laughs> it was just like, in 86, we got all this bullshit Tose made based on anime licenses. A lot of that came out over here without the anime licenses. Stuff like Chubby Cherub, stuff like Dragon Power. And yet, on the same store shelves, you would see this game with the horrible box arts. You'd be like, okay, this has to be at least as bad as those other games, right? Mm -hmm. No, it's actually pretty good. At least in my opinion. Alex is uh, undergoing his gamer challenge to see whether or not he likes this game. I assume if you fail this challenge, you'll, you'll hate this game. Yeah. I'm fine. <laughs> We're playing a retro game? I know! Can you believe it? Yeah, yeah. Usually we just play nothing but the modern hits, like uh, Balan Wonderworld. We should do that again. I don't know. That's... Mm, well, maybe if they make a sequel, once they let uh, Yuji Naka out of prison. They put Inafune in prison too, right? For Mighty Number no. Nine. <laughs> yeah. Okay, just just moving along, doing great. I think all disgraced game creators should be uh, put in prison just to, to, you know, to make a statement. Say what you will about prison abolition, but some of those games were pretty bad. I mean, you're that's fair. That's fair. You know, Fune's on NFTs. Okay, put him in prison. Okay. Make him share a cell with Yuji Naka. They can burrow out together <laughs> in a buddy escape movie. It's gonna be like that one game. What's the game where the guys escape prison? Uh, Prison Escape. Yeah, okay. Am I going crazy? Wasn't there like a AAA game where guys left prison or something? Yeah, I brought it up last term. It's called A Way Out. I okay, okay, that's what I thought. Okay. I actually have a copy. I'm tempted to, to stream it, but I don't know how much you'd like it or appreciate it. I want to play it. It seems stupid. I mean, it seems like a really good game. Maybe if you can play. beat a level of the original Mega Man, you can earn the right to unlock A Way Out. I only have two health left. How am I going to do this? I think you'll do it. Yeah, Jordan, that's what I heard about it. I heard it's a stream risk because they show Hog in the game. Really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> the uh, The official Twitch stance on in-game Hog is uh, you can show it as long as you don't linger on it in an undue way. That's to prevent people from just uh, staying at a strip club in GTA V and streaming that all day. Oh, uh, okay, okay, that's fair. Yep, games have advanced to the point where you can show a realistic in-game hog. That was not a, a risk here in the 8-bit era. You can tend to really stream whatever you want without uh, encountering anything like that. Don't ponder Hamerica Pig. I'm always pondering Hamerica Pig. There's hog on Blue Sky? I haven't logged into Blue Sky in a while. I have... We need to set up a Blue Sky. I have the invite. I just... Another website to use? Ugh. Yeah, I know. I hate having to use all these splinter websites based on the one that's currently being ruined. Yeah, it sucks. Hey, nice score. Oh! Also note the fact you have a score in this game. That's something that didn't carry over to any other game in the series. That's just one of the things that makes Mega Man 1 stand out a little bit. It's like the, the weird kid. The first one to be born. What the hell is that thing? It shoots at you. You should be used no to this shit. by now. <laughs> You're Mega Man. All your friends hate the shit out of you. They keep wanting to shoot you. Oh, right. There was no story in this. You don't know the story. You're yeah, just I don't. You're just doing all this without context. Well, Mega Man was a super fighting robot. Uh, that's really all I learned from the intro to the cartoon. I don't have much to say beyond that. If anyone else wants to fill in the canon in chat, please do. It's probably not much, right? Not worth it. Alex, 
Max has made it to the boss doors. We're seeing a real-world Nintendo World Championship unfold right in front of our eyes. Will he beat Cutman on his very first attempt? It's pretty low health, but I think you have one life in the reserve, so... A person of some skill may be able to do this. Do I have some skill? I think you do. Okay. I'm not throwing you under the bus for content. I think you can actually do this. I think you stand a chance. Oh yeah, I don't know how Alex is going to deal with Gut Gutsman's ass. <laughs> That's a part of Mega Man canon he's not ready for, I don't think. I'm just too busy thinking of Gutsman's ass. Alright, this one. This is the run. You can totally do this. Now, Alex, one thing in the Mega Man series is that these boss enemies you fight, you gain their weapons, mm -hmm. and other bosses are weak to them. Oh. In this case, Cutman is weak to your standard blaster, also known as the Mega Buster. So, it's the best bet to start with him. Well, thank you for the 100 bits, Kieran. And yeah, these you, I'm glad you like the VTubers. Yeah, I decided to make him more of a, a permanent fixture since people seem to like him. Ooh, ooh, you got him stuck in a pattern. Oh my god! Oh my god! No, I'm gonna give that one to you. You clearly landed the final hit right before Thank he did. You. There was several, several frames in between when you hit him and he hit you. So that I'm, counts? I'm counting that as a win. You you win cut, man. Why don't you hit the... Uh, oh, you know shoot. what? Why don't we reset? Okay. Do Thank you, know, you for everyone know, encouraging me. That do, was do you know how to do that? Let me let me have the controller. Yeah, you have it. I want you to take the guts man challenge because I think you got it. I think you got what it takes. That was so funny. I'm sorry. That was such a characteristic Alex thing to do, like that clutch move at the end where you actually dodged the. the yeah, thing. that was really clutch. Where I actually tried to to play as a gamer. You actually tried to play as a gamer. Yeah! I now, the, Im the important part of this level playthrough, as far as I'm concerned, you're successful. But what I want you to do now is beat this first part of the level. Gutsman himself is like, whatever. Anyone can do that. But this first part is a famous roadblock for new players. Oh, I don't like the look of this. No, oh, fuck this. No, it's fine. You can totally do it. We're getting... Request for RP ban game. People booing the game. <laughs> Double KO. <laughs> I wasn't. I'm sorry. I couldn't even look at chat when that was happening. I was ah! watching this with my mouth agape. I couldn't believe what I saw. So, folks, how many times did you die at this part when you first played this? Either as a kid or like discovering it in the modern day. In my opinion, this is a little bit too much to put, like, right at the beginning of the level. But Capcom was kind of fucking around at the time, just seeing what worked and what didn't. Maybe we should have a band game emote. Ooh! You see? Cool! As a kid, I don't think I ever beat this level. I think I just beat the other levels. <laughs> Maybe not Iceman, because this is kind of tough, too. I don't know if I even got to Wily when I rented this back when it was new. Don't think about that too much. That's a really long time ago. That's fine. The little hat guys are called Mets, because they love the baseball team. Let's go, baby. Love the Mets. Do it again. Okay. You I think I think you got this. You think I got this? In my opinion, this kind of challenges your hand-eye coordination as a gamer in many, in a way that a lot of games don't. Because you really have to think ahead. You have to think about what's on screen, what's happening when you jump versus when you land. It's brutal, but it's also kind of an interesting little puzzle to put in your game. Why are we all talking about Mrs. Metz? Oh, no, I remember. Why? I remember, because the big ass, right? Yes, 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 Mrs. Met does have a huge ass. That's true. I was thinking back, thinking about what they could be referring to, and like, oh yeah, that was posted on our Discord for sure. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. 
get equipped with the paint. <laughs> Why isn't there a Mega Man boss where he gives you the power of huge ass? Wokeness. <laughs> Good time. I deserved that! <laughs> Just dumped right into the garbage. <laughs> Yeah, that's fair. Push on through like That's crazy. true, there is a, a boss named Hard Man. Cool. Where's the equality? That's what I'm wondering. Thank you! We need equality. Okay, here we go. Oh! You're getting it! You're really getting it. I think. I think if you can get this, you can get anything in any other Mega Man game. Ow. Justice for Chubo Dumpy. Rest in peace, Chubo Dumpy. I know! It sucks that that's gone! It pisses me off! What world do we live in? It is kind of funny how fast he falls when he's dumped out. Alex, Alex, you need a bench? Let me bench you. Okay, I'm cool. I think we should remove one of these weights. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've heard of Splash Woman, but I don't think Hypno Woman is a real... Hypno Woman is fake! I think you're getting your information from the, the wrong wiki there. <laughs> Oh, oh, could this be it? Oh my god. Almost had it. Hypno Woman is from the Cartoon Network show? <laughs> fake! Fake! It's all fake! Mega Man is a fake I'm not. Man. I don't believe that. I He's refuse a to believe robot. that. I like that. I like that Mega Man is Ruby Spears. I just want to say that. It's I... just. I got all my Mega Man information from the chaste Christian Ruby Spears production of the show. You mean the one with which, the sexy lion men? Which had absolutely nothing weird in it. Not a, a ray that turned people into sexy lion men. Just everything completely normal in, in the world of Monsteropolis. MegaMan.fandom.com slash wiki slash hypno woman. I'm not clicking on that. Clicking <laughs> you're not gonna right you're now. not gonna ruin my Oh my god, you're gonna do it. Well you're an in incognito, so you can. Yeah, so it Wow! Ah, she looks like shit. I'm she sorry. She looks like she's from Reboot or something. She does. She looks fake. I don't like her. Well, I'm glad you did that. Anyway, one more, you don't want to give it another uh, one try. One more try, okay? This will be my I last try. I really want to see you do this. I know you do. I think you. I think you're capable of this. Thank you. She does look like an Overwatch. A little bit like Overwatch, yeah. You're the one with the sexy lion man rays? That's what happened when they sold off all the assets from the Ruby Spear show? <laughs> well, I guess someone had to end up with the, the sexy lion man ray. Might as well be you. Oh, you didn't even know about this show? You have to see it. You have to at least watch clips. You should see the, uh, the lion man clip. You should see, see the, the lion uh, man clip. You should see the pharaoh man clip. That one's pretty good, too. And you should see the guts man clip. Yeah, also watch guts man's ass. Watch guts man's ass immediately. Both the clip and the concept. It's it's funny how little we've discussed the actual game itself. Okay, so <laughs> you're, you're you're playing and it's good. I, I guess I guess there's not much else to say. It did wow, become. Wow, I'm playing worse. It did become like a cultural phenomenon, so it's interesting to trace the origins and all. Now I got your power. Punch. One of the kids loves the sexy lion man. <laughs> Oh, kills a guy in the pilot? Cool. Cool. Oh yeah, the Lincoln Memorial clip, that too. Jeez, this is a great show. Bah! I'm giving you I'm giving you one more continue. This okay. is the last one. You have to do this. Okay, Electric Boogaloo Fun, thank you for the 25 bits. Mm -hmm. Yeah, buy it on DVD today. Okay. I have some prickly pear Italian soda in me. 
the get, gayest soda I could find. Get equipped with Italian power. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna be a real Italian bottom now. Let's go. It's <laughs> not how that. Fuck! They did the opposite of good. Sorry. Be be the opposite of an Italian bottom. Okay. Now. Be an Australian top. I'm trying too hard tonight. I'm sorry. I don't know it's what's okay. gotten into me. It must be the sexy lion man spirit. It is. That and I've upped the price on the bandani, so it's it's harder to do that now. Ah! Did you see that? Yeah, that was kind of bullshit. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, bandani. Hundred bits for Italian bottom energy. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It's not st oh no, it didn't stop people. People have saved up their money just for this occasion. You're getting banned. I was wondering if I should get rid of that, but I saw multiple co-host posts in favor of it, so... Yeah! The people have spoken on the people's new forum. Well, Alex, you gave it a shot. And you did beat Cutman, as far as I'm, I can tell. Oh man, that band's gonna go off for a while. Yeah. Alright, so, why don't I play this? Let's see if play. I can do this. First try, no mistakes. Actually, I haven't done this in a while. One thing I like about Mega Man is just the immediacy of it. You can jump, and you can shoot, and that's it. it it's immediately available to you, you just start marching to the right and blasting. What a great game this is. I think later games would focus more on action rather than platforming. You just did it? Like it's no thing? Making these platforming segments in the first game kind of stand out as being a little bit cruel. Yeah, what's up? Never mind, whatever. I did it while being banned too. That shit's impressive. This is like when you. This is just like. The other day we went to the arcade and Danny had a ball on Adam's family that wouldn't end. How many? How long did it last? Was it, it Adam's family? That it was. Happened? It was a really long time. I got to tour the mansion on the first time on a yeah. real table. That was cool. And then I did really good at the Sopranos. The Sopranos table is hilarious. It's got a talking <laughs> fish that that uh, goes off when you go up a ramp. I really like it. When you go, when the best part is it has the strippers from the Bada Bing, and there are these little, and they spin on the little poles like they're physical set pieces, and there's a little light up piece behind them that like where all the Sopranos characters are watching them. It's really creepy. It's really funny. I love that table. That table is really funny. We that also era play... of Stern tables is just pretty hilarious. What what else did you play? Oh no, you played the Godfather table, which was hilarious. Oh my god, I got. <laughs> I got owned on the Godfather table because after uh, finishing a game, it prompted me to put in my name. And I was like, whoa, ten characters. I can put in all kinds of stupid shit on there. So I put in Gangstar420, which I guess is 11 letters, so it yeah. was at least 11 letters. Entered my name, and the fucking thing took a picture of me, and it displayed it on the fucking back glass. <laughs> like, I was masked and everything, so you couldn't really tell who I was, but just... I'm used to putting in stupid names on pinball tables and getting away with it. Like the guy who put in cum on the Family Guy table. He got, he got away with it. He didn't have to have his picture taken <laughs> and sent to the police station. They're not sending you to the police station for doing <laughs> Star Wars 20. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. I don't have the weapon for Guts, man. He's going to be kind of tough. Good luck, honey. Nobody tell the police that I put in the name Gangstar420 on the Godfather. Please don't. The brand new... Godfather pinball table. That table was in such good shape. Oh yeah, you broke the Black Knight 2000 table. That was sick. Oh yeah. I hit the ball so it it ran into one of the slingshots, like the top of it, and it broke the plastic off and embedded itself in it. Like there was no way it was going to come out, even after multiple ball searches. That was sick, Danny. Thank you. I like pinball. I like Mega Man, as it turns out. I don't often go to these games when I'm looking for something to play just for fun, but... They're really responsive and immediate in a way that I really like. So it's fun to return to them. Uh, we didn't tell an operator because they were busy and... They would have noticed. They have people doing the rounds. Yeah, yeah. I also played the new Houdini machine and got a ball stuck on there. <laughs> oh yeah, that was really funny! Yeah, 
You got balls stuck all over the place. It was you should great. have you should have me test your games because I'll find a way to get your ball stuck. <laughs> I didn't mean to say it like that, but. I'm just gonna say it. Arcades are good. Yeah, I love arcades. I will say though, it, it does suck that the arcades have also been hit by the inflation meter. Yeah, all those games cost like a dollar twenty-five, dollar fifty. Yeah, games have gone up in price, which sucks. But I get it. Everything's every it's changing. We're changing the world. The times they are a changing, as Imagine Dragons said. You know, I should have played Imagine Dragons on the jukebox at the arcade. Oh, fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't like that? What if I got really into Imagine Dragons, Danny? No. <laughs> oh, man. I have a, an Imagine Dragons story. Okay, uh, okay. I was watching a certain unnamed VTuber do uh, karaoke oh. today. Oh, okay. And they, they sang a song that actually sounded pretty good. And I was like, wow, who did this? It was a fucking Imagine Dragons song. I listened to the song and I was like, wow, the VTuber did way better. Yeah. <laughs> Just have someone else singing it and not be that, not be Imagine Dragons. Anyway, that's my soapbox for today. Imagine Dragons is the illumination animation of music. Wow, you're right. I, I, they are, they are, they, they seem like they would have their own ride at Universal Studios, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah. Like when they finally get rid of the Jimmy Fallon ride, it's gonna be like Imagine Dragons <laughs> the Journey. That would be an appropriate mainstream substitution, I think. Yeah. Sorry to all the Imagine Dragons fans who are unsubscribing right now. It's okay. It's okay to like music that I don't like. Yeah, it's okay to like things. I've... <laughs> what am I doing? I'm just gaming. I like Ernest Evans. You can't defend that. And by that I mean uh, Chubby Checker. That's his real name. I forgot about that! Can I do this? No. I'm gonna die. Yeah, there's a Jimmy Fallon ride. It's uh, Universal Studios Florida. It replaced the uh, Jimmy Neutron Nicktoons Blast ride. And uh, it has the Roots uh, performing the, uh, the safety spiel, which I think is pretty cool. What about the rest of it? Um. What about the Jimmy Fallon centric content? I don't like that part. I, 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 I want to ride it. I do want to ride the Jimmy Fallon ride. I just, I've seen a playthrough, not playthrough, a ride through of it. And it just, it's, it's a, it's one of those 3D theater rides. So you're sitting in the theater that moves and you're on, you're racing through New York with Jimmy Fallon in a little like Jimmy Fallon mobile and shit. And then you go to the moon and he does a bunch of bits from the show. I don't know. I disappeared. Where'd he go? I tried to watch Jimmy Fallon the other night, and I couldn't do it. I think he's sad. <laughs> I want him to feel better. Why is he sad? I don't know, because he's doing the late night show. <laughs> I'd be pretty sad about that. Do you think I could beat a Lechman without his weakness? I've been basically doing the boss order backwards just to make everyone mad. Let's try to, <laughs> let's try to do that. The Jimmy Fallon mobile, I'm pretty sure is only is only canon in the ride. I'm pretty sure Jimmy Fallon doesn't have a PT Cruiser-esque uh, racing mobile. He should though. He should have a little go-kart that he races through New York. As what, like punishment? Yeah, I think that if you host The Tonight Show, you should be punished a little bit. It's just, you know. Isn't, you know, the hosting punishment enough? <laughs> no, 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 no. I think that if you do a late night show, you should, you should have to, uh... Eat shit. <laughs> like, literally or figuratively, like, eating shit in a car. Uh, we'll discuss it. Oh, yeah, I forgot Fallon got sued for the NFT stuff. That was funny. Did he? <laughs> oh, yeah, remember when he, yeah, he's like, here's my oh, board ape. fuck. And then Paris Hilton was like, here's my board ape, too. <laughs> yeah, Jimmy Fallon has a deadness in his eyes. It's pretty cool. I, I... <laughs> He's like the opposite of Joe Montana. <laughs> oh my god. Alex has not been able to shut up about starry-eyed Joe. Sorry! It's just so rare that you see such beautiful eyes in a video game of that era. So these are the boo-boo blocks. 
the widely hated Boo Boo Blocks in Mega Man. Boo Boo the Fool Blocks. Thank you, Dream Hair, you're live for the raid! We're playing Mega Man. I beat Cut Man! <laughs> you did! Barely. You got double KO'd by Cut Man. Thanks for the raid, Snake Man. We're gonna see you in a little bit in a couple games. Hope you had a good stream. Were you able to finish uh, Return of Ishtar? I've looked into it, and that game does not seem possible to me. We gotta try it someday, though. Hell no! Yeah, I mean... <laughs> yeah, that, that game looks like torture to me. Quest of Kai, though. Now there's a video game. Is this the right way to go? Yeah, I think we're good. Normally at this point, you'd have the cut... the cutsman's blade. But I don't. Because Alex was unfairly double KO'd. I was! It was unfair! A crime! Do these help? <laughs> Alright. Wait, why do I have zero lives? Oh man. I'm not gonna be, even be able to get to the Electman. Cleared that screen at least. Hey! Hey! Hey, you did good, kid! Good job, fuckface! Do you think they'll let us host the Tonight Show? Who? They! Oh, oh! At NBC! Let, let us host the Tonight Show. Um. Not in a million years, are you kidding me? <laughs> that would be great, though! Could you imagine? <laughs> I would just go out there and be like, hey, you heard about the latest video game? And they're like, which one? And I'm like, crap, I didn't think this joke through. <laughs> Fuck! And then they get fined by the FCC for, like, 20 fucks in a row. Well, Alex, while I try and break the game even more by playing Iceman, having none of the weapons I need to beat Iceman, why don't we rank this one? Okay. It's a momentous occasion, folks. Make your vote count, because this, this is a big one. Is Mega Man 1 better or worse than Bubsy? Give us an RP Angel Bubsy or RP Devil Bubsy, depending on your thoughts on the subject. This first one actually has a chance of being a Devil Bubsy to some people. Ah, uh, it's only angels! Okay, well, <laughs> that's to be expected, I suppose. Yeah, for the time it came out, and even to this day, this is a pretty damn good video game. It's well put together. There's some stuff about it that's fucked up, but... They sure had plenty of sequels to get it right. But where are we gonna rank this one? Is this gonna be... I'm thinking this is, like, just outside the top 100, or maybe just inside? Okay. Where would be a good place for this? How about, how about, okay, at number 100, we have Mischief Makers. And Turrican 2, and Ghost Super Mikami. How are you feeling about that? Worse I don't know. Makers? I agree. Yeah, I, I kind of, that's what I'm thinking. Okay, how about this? How about, above JJ Squawkers? You like him above DJ Squawkers? Eh, we're pretty close, I think. Okay. I don't know if I agree with that. Let's see what the chat thinks. Do we have any pro JJ Squawkers fans Better, in the audience? Hi we got some huge Mega Man fans in chat. Better than Aladdin. Okay. How about between Aladdin and Legendary Axe? That seems kind of good. You think so? Lower... Well... It's a pretty good place for Legendary games to be all lumped together. Alright, people keep pushing it higher up, higher up. How about between Turrican 2 and Ghost Sleeper? Below Aladdin. People do not know where to place this, neither do I. It's a tough one. You deserve some extra <laughs> deliberation time. And Aladdin. Okay, we got a second there. Leave no doubt when you cast your final vote. How do you feel about between Legendary Axe and Aladdin, Danny? I'm okay with that. Okay. Like, uh, just between the two? Legendary Axe on top? Mm-hmm. I like that, actually. Uh, Banalix is actually the name of a, uh, of a, a real honest-to-god company. Yeah, so, it was the yeah. publisher of Ghost Sweeper Mikami, funnily enough. Alright, let's do it. Let's put up Mega Man. Mega Man gets put up on the Big Mascot Friday list. Finally, the first real Mega Man game that's not some fucked-up DOS version. <laughs> there is another Mega Man on the list, but it is very, very much near the bottom. I can't do this. I always have the, the freaking, you know, the electric beam to do this. This is bullshit. Sorry, honey. 
Can we can we put it down a few more ranks? No, nope. no. Nope. Decision has been made. Shit. We gotta. All right, one more attempt. <laughs> one more attempt. Okay. All right. Okay, it can stay where it is. I think it earned it. Okay. <laughs> I'm definitely not going to try and do this part without dying, though. Good work, Mega Man 1. You still got it. After all these years, y you still got it. Still got it, bro. But then, believe it or not, after Mega Man 1, what did they go and do? What did they do? They went and made this game. Turn it down a little bit more for us. These games are very loud. And you can uh, turn up the desk. Actually, the desktop audio looks fine. Yeah. So Dr. Light the evil desires of Dr. Wily. made Mega Man to stop Dr. Wily's evil desires. Then, spoilers, Dr. Wily got beat. And then he made eight more. Because in the first game, they were just like utility forestry robots that got turned on the average human population. Oh, and is that what they are? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They all have functions in society. And uh, at least nominally in the sequels, they do too. It's hard to really say what the need for Hard Man would have been, but I think we all know that. Okay, where's Danny? Are you gonna give me a challenge here too? Alex, your challenge today is to beat Flash Man. Okay. Thank you, Kiss the Octopus Seven Month Resub Evil Desires. It's Friday, all right. Thank <laughs> for you. sure, that that sums up Mascot Friday, all right. Thank you for the sub. I think Flash Alex can do this. Flash, Flash, Flash. I was torn between either this or Metal Man, but. Even though this is an ice level, I think you can handle it. Really? <laughs> it's a video game! Of course it's gonna have an ice level on it. This game's got good music. Anyone ever noticed that before? I don't think anyone's ever mentioned music in this game. I don't think anyone's ever played this game. No, it's pretty obscure. We cover from some real obscurities here on Mascot Friday, from Family Dog to, uh, Scunny. <laughs> we'll have to see how this, this fresh-faced newcomer compares to... Scunny? To, ...to hits like Yogi's Great Escape and Scrimblo's Great Adventure. Flimbo's Quest! Damn it! I've replaced- I've mentally replaced Flimbo with Scrimblo in my mind! I mean, Flimbo is a Scrimblo. True, but he's the original Scrimblo. He doesn't deserve to be erased. I think it's because uh, Mascot Friday has some competition here now on Twitch, thanks to Holly Heck Maybe's Scrimblow Sweepstakes. Oh shit, there's a Scrimblow Sweepstakes? Yeah, that's that's a series of streams that I... If if she ever goes live with one of those games, I just drop everything I'm doing and I just watch it, because those are always good. Nice. She played all the way through fucking Fix for PS1, that, that game that challenged our attention spans that we didn't get anywhere in. Oh, wow. Yeah, Heck Maybe is a, is a pro follow for sure. Retro Pals forces top competitor Neo Rank Masters out of business. Yep. Finally, the lawsuit went through and BBH was forced to drop the series after uh, playing every single Neo Geo game. <laughs> Justice has prevailed. Oh, you want to watch Lord BBH on Monday, by the way. He's starting up a new series called Push to Reject that's all about shitty and weird arcade games. Yay! And if anyone can cover that shit, it's him. So, very much looking forward to that. I expect to see some hard head on there. Fix was awesome. We all got an MRI dirt together during it. It's God, that fucking game. That is a challenge to pay attention to that game. Unlike Mega Man, which you just play and feel <laughs> normal during it. I like playing video games and just having normal enjoyment feelings instead of feeling like my soul is escaping from I my love body. Normal enjoyment feelings. That's like my motto. Alex, normal enjoyment feelings. Yeah, Alex just totally got the E-Tank on the first try on the slippery platforms that are as as small as they can possibly be, so so props to him. Yay. Alex, normal man. 
what would uh, what would your nominal function in society be if you were a robot master? Um, <laughs> no, not to distract you or anything. Uh, guy man. Guy man. We need a robot who's just a guy. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Oh I my did it! god! Did you die a single time during that level? Yes. Okay. Still, nice work. Danny got banned because I did so good. Yay. <laughs> F. Hey, F nice fucking chat. job. Get equipped with Time Stopper. Ooh, pretty purple. And you get a bonus. Message from Dr. Light. Thank you, everybody, for the you did it. I can't believe I did it. Item three completed. Get your weapons ready. Alex is leveling up in front of our eyes. It's beautiful. Three. Like watching a child take its first steps. Get equipped with item three. Oh, okay. No, I'm good. What so to, to anyone in chat who wants to have kids, what, uh, what Mega Man level are you going to force your kid to play through first? What level should I do next, Danny? I'd like to see you play uh, Metal Man. Quick man! Thank you, Frappe, for the five dollar donation. I don't know why it's so huge, and it ate your message. Holy crap! Thank you, Frappe, thank for you. The, the big five dollar dono. <laughs> the literally huge. Everyone's saying Quick Man. You'd really make your kid try and beat Quick Man before doing anything? I guess. Yeah, I can see that. If you want to, it's like those 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 dads who coach their kids to be pro ball players. Oh, yeah, yeah, like, like, at a young age. Yeah, like Baby Gronk. Mm-hmm. I saw, like, a, a seven-year-old footballer, and I was just like, God damn, kid. All right, if you die in this level, I want you to play Quick Man. Okay. Let's throw you to the wolves, as all the, uh, the bad parents in chat suggested. I can't get past these. I don't like them. You can just wait. See, you don't want to because it's Mega Man. You want to charge forward and shoot stuff. Yeah, thank you. That's what you. makes this so challenging. If you die in Quick Man stage, you die in real life. It's true. So you better, uh... What's with all of these? They're the little, uh, Mega Worms. I don't like them. They're boring through the level. They're boring, all right. Wow! Alex, this is a landmark of human achievement, this game. You saying it's boring? Yes. Wow. Wow. That's like going to the Smithsonian and pointing at uh, <laughs> the Mona Lisa and saying, wow, this is boring. <laughs> Danny, they don't have... Danny, do you know what they have at the Smithsonian? <laughs> the Mona Lisa, definitely, for sure. You do? Yeah, I do. I didn't even do the voice. I didn't even do the voice! They're not there jesters. They're robots. Robots can't be jesters because they don't have imagination. What?! Wow, you and I... You and I differ. The Smithsonian has, like... You know what I would point at and say boring at the Smithsonian? All the... All the... All the Sesame Street puppets because they have a lot of Sesame Street puppets there. Whoa, really? Yeah. You would hate on the Sesame Street puppets? Do you know the kind of audience we have who I always know. wants to see Elmo or Grover? <laughs> I guess I wouldn't. I I do want to see them, though. I am curious. <laughs> okay, I've got, like, barely any life left. <laughs> the truth comes out. Holy shit, huge How revelations. How do I use different weapon? Hold on, select, start. Yeah, it's start. Start, start. Uh, there's the next page is what you want. Okay. Which is start, I think. Uh, yeah, go ahead and F. That's what that does. <laughs> it just stops time for a while. But I can't shoot! No, that's that's all Flashman does. He stops time. You may also opt to restore your health because you're on your last life if you want. That's on the first page. You have an E-tank. Alright, Alex, with a full life bar, can you beat Metal Man on your very first try ever? No, that's no, that's a that's a peripheral. <laughs> I don't think it'll let you pause while it's out either. 
<laughs> okay. He just threw out like a mega grappling hook, pretty much. It's like, aha, take this. Well, it's pretty much 50-50. This is neck and neck. It's gonna be a real competition to the finish if you double KO again, I swear to... Okay, good. Nice. First try. Yay! Every time. Good work, Alex. How'd I do that? I How'd really, I do game? You were on the verge of double KOing again. I was, I too. I would have screamed. I'm not a Mega Man mastermind, no. All right, do you want to do Quick Man or should I do Quick Man? I'll do Quick. Is that, is that the one that everyone's like, don't do this stage? Yeah. Okay, I'll do it. Also, pro tip, uh, use item three at the start of the level to get an extra life. Okay. I've seen stranger things happen. Alex could beat the infamous part of this level on his first try. And you do have the Metal Blade. Why don't you equip that now, actually? It gives you so much ammo, you can just, like, waste it. And you can aim it in any direction. And it makes a really cool noise, too. I like the noise. It goes boing. Oh, this day! Yeah, yeah. Now you know what everyone wanted to see. It's even worse, they put the lights out on you. You think you're a robot, you can see in the dark, but no, you're just an 80s robot. Did 80s robots not be able to see... Could, could... I don't know a lot about 80s robots. Yeah, I don't think they had infrared technology back then. Then again, Mega Man is from the year 20OX, so... You really should be able to see in the dark. Come on, Capcom. I was just thinking of Johnny Five. It turns out Johnny Five could see in the dark, so. Alright, well, Alex, good luck. Mind. You got this. What the fuck? That was a good first screen, though. Thank you. So now you know uh, what's in store for you at the end of Quick Man's level. Capcom's famous trick. I agree. I think this is the kind of thing that's more appropriately difficult than, say, the Gutsman thing at the end of the last level. I'm, I mean, uh, in Mega Man 1. Alright, Alex, let's do it. Yeah, that's the problem. You gotta position yourself in advance. Can I try? Yes! Okay. Good shit! Fuck it, I'll do it. Okay. Wait, do I have anything you can use against Quick Man? Uh, whatever. This is normal it difficulty. Matter. The trick to this stage is being good at Mega Man. <laughs> the trick to this stage is just playing it over and over again until you finally get through it. And to have unlimited time as a kid. That's true. Having unlimited time is always good. I want that in real life. You want to know a, uh, a cherished childhood memory I have about Mega Man 2? Yeah. My mom made me pause it once so she could watch a soap opera. That rocks! Did you watch it with her? Yes. Was it a good episode? It was a, it was a climactic scene where two characters are celebrating finally finding their marriage certificate, which was apparently some kind of problem for them. Uh-huh. And then while they were kissing in celebration, the marriage certificate fell to the ground and landed in the fireplace. <laughs> So yeah, it was worth it. That's really good! What, do you remember the soap? I don't. Aw, oh, damn. I couldn't tell you. <sighs> no! He stopped! He stopped at the edge of that platform and decided not to go. He's like, no thank you. Yeah, I deserve that. Yeah, it could have been The Young and the Restless, The Bold and the Beautiful, General Hospital, Days of Our Lives, All My Children. So I saw that and I was like, can I, can I go back to playing Mega Man? And she was like, yeah. <laughs> 
So you found a new strat here that I wasn't aware of. You can land on that little platform in the middle without jumping if you land on the, uh... The exact same thing happened to me again. You if stopped you and went the other way! <laughs> yeah. If you land on the first platform, you don't have to jump to get to the second one. I'm gonna... I'm gonna do that from now on. Jordan, we were also an All My Children household. And then in the 2000s, we became a uh, whenever passions is on, we watch it household. Just we, so we would all gather around the TV in the summer and watch the orangutan nurse. <laughs> the orangutan nurse. True. I'd watch it. Better than the shit we got on TV nowadays. I'm gonna do this. You don't even watch a shit on TV. I'm the one who bought like the cheap antenna from Walmart and watches TV. Is that what you do? Yeah, I watch every morning. I watch a little bit of the Today Show to like feel normal, to know what's going on in the world, and to see like. I didn't know that you watched the Today Show. I do every morning. Like you do, I... you do get up early, so you have to have something to do. I do. It's actually really nice. I'll just uh, put on the Today Show, drink some coffee, and and be like, "Yep, that's the Today Show. This is what movies are being promoted by Universal now." Glad you can keep up with your brands. I like to keep up with brands. I like drinking coffee in the mo at 7 a.m. and watching the Today Show after I fed the cats. Although I'll tell you what. Yeah. I don't. We don't have cable. We just have you know regular. They just bounce off these things. TV. Did you know it's been a while? But did you know that Saturday morning cartoons on broadcast TV are dead in the dirt? Yeah, I have heard that. It sucks. That's unfortunate. It's, it's like you can see it on cable and stuff, but like. Yeah, over the air digital is kind of, you know, but I like watching the Today Show and I like seeing local commercials. That's why I watch is seeing what like the local brands are doing. It's always a shock when a random enemy is actually invulnerable to the Metal Blade because then you're like, well, shit, now what do I do? I have more lives. I do. I could take a death here. Or... That was a good fight. What? He's weak to the Flash Stopper. No other uh, boss enemy is. You know, Me TV probably does still show Saturday morning cartoons. I don't think we actually get Me TV in my area. We have it, but our antenna is, like I said, it was from Walmart. It was cheap. I can't believe I died like three times. Sorry, honey. That is a damn shame. Alex, while I let the cat out, why don't you have an attempt at Airman's level? She just wants me to bet her. Here you go, okay. Okay, there she goes. Yep! Famously, people describe this as the easiest level of any video game. There was a song in Japan about how easy it is to beat Airman. You ever seen this level before? Yeah. It sucks, right? Yeah. You know, as a kid, I did the same strategy. I did the damage uh, boosting strats. It turns out, in normal difficulty, you can just damage boost through a lot in this game. And it's really fun, too. Good music, too. I don't remember how the song goes. All I know is that he sings about how easy this level is. Super easy. Everyone loves this level. Yeah, pretty much. Nice. This sucks, Danny. It's stressful, isn't it? I don't like this. But I'd say it's overall more doable than... A lot of the stuff in the original Mega Man. I'm thinking specifically of Gutsman's level. Later on, they would flatten the difficulty a little bit and make it, you know, slightly more fair for the little children playing this. Where are Buckner and Garcia when you need them? How do yeah! we... How do we make them compose a song about the Retro Pals? I was... 
I forgot the word for commission, so I just said make them. <laughs> <laughs> How do we contractually obligate them to uh, <laughs> make a Retro pal song? Okay. Yeah, do you think the regular bad guy enemies, the non-bosses, also had a purpose in society, or are they just Dr. Wily fucking around? I think they're just Dr. Wily fucking around. Like this guy? <laughs> he oh, probably no, that guy was definitely a fan. He had a, he had a purpose in society. They had him set up in that uh, pinball's location that's not too ventilated too well. That was great! Okay, so the other thing about where we went at pinballs was that... The, it had a lot of fans just like everywhere to mm -hmm. keep it cool. It was actually, we went, it, school's in session, and we went like during a time when there weren't too many people there, so that was nice. And I broke all the pinball machines before the kids could come in and enjoy them. <laughs> they wouldn't appreci appreciate them anyway. They should be playing the Sopranos anyway! Yeah! Alright, I do hate I... the egg birds. I also hate them too. Uh, to beat this guy, shoot him until he dies. Okay. This is one of those guys where the Mega Buster is one of his weaknesses. Okay. He's got tough patterns. But, uh, I think you'll figure it out. Nice work! That was really easy. You got all the way through the level on your own! Yeah, what, what do you think about that? I'm intimidated. Are you scared? Yeah, I'm a little bit scared. <laughs> No way did Buckner and Garcia do a Fortnite song! Really? <laughs> we, gotta, we gotta hear that. What's it gonna be like? Fortnite, Fortnite, you gotta get down with Fortnite. Gotta play a video game and gonna get a kill. You done? Yeah, you wanna play? Yeah. <laughs> this Mega Man 2, uh, I think they got something here. Pretty fun, right? Yeah. I can I can see why this became a a memetic hit with the Wait youth. a minute! One of the Buck Garcia Buckner and Garcia's no longer alive? Well then how are they doing Fortnite songs from the grave? Are we doing is this like that one are you are are we doing seances to, to channel a Fortnite song? I'll do it. I'll I'll get the Ouija board and this I'll took channel a, Elvis. This you know, took a Fortnite. grim turn all of a sudden. Also welcome to the bitrate dimension. Oh, this song's good, too. The whole damn soundtrack is good. The last one fell. Why'd it do that? I don't know. You trying to trick me? Hey, yeah. you want to see something cool? <laughs> Alright, check it out on the next screen. You want to see something cool and that I don't completely understand, so I'm going to fuck it up. Okay. See the principle of what I'm trying to do here, right? I think so. Oh, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> if you do it right, you do a really cool zip through most of the level. Okay, it was they didn't do a Fortnite song. I was assuming. I uh, they did a Pokemon song though. Okay, delightful. I'm. The there. guy, the guy who sung the original Pokemon songs, has some really uh, interesting reinterpretations of those songs nowadays. What? He's uh. <laughs> what? He did. He redid the Pokemon thing to be about uh, COVID nineteen <laughs> and about how he doesn't believe in it. What? <laughs> Among other things. <sighs> A real interesting world out there. You won't believe what Pikachu believes nowadays. Don't go on that guy's Twitter feed. Pikachu's totally bought the blue check. <laughs> Pikachu's complaining like, Why am I not Pika Pika? Where is my 20 You don't need the blue check. You're fucking Pikachu. <laughs> we all know Pika who you Pika. are. I got, a, I got a promotional email the other day saying the uh, 10 least searched Pokemon <laughs> in America. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm gonna read that on my solo stream because I've decided to read a uh, weird PR email I get. Oh man, I gotta, I gotta tune into your solo streams more. That's good. Last time I talked about how what the uh, most expensive game is according to OnlineCasinos.net. <laughs> OnlineCasinos.net. It's huh? a it's a sealed copy of Super Mario 65, <laughs> which was a typo, but. That's, that would be pretty rare if there was a that Super Mario 65. That would be really rare, yeah, Super Mario 65. I think Primeape was in the top 10? Why? What's people's problem with Primeape? Why do you not search for him? He was the only uh, Gen 1 Pokemon in the bottom 10 list. Makes you think. Really does. Fucking, you know what? I'm gonna bring up that email so you can read it on stream. Oh, you want me to read it to you? Yeah. Read it? Okay. Let me let me find this first. Okay, okay. I was I was incensed at this shit. As a lifelong gamer, I just I couldn't believe the words I was reading on my screen. If Pokemon were sports players infographic? Are you kidding me? When did I get this? <laughs> Oh, that's from 2016. <laughs> here we go. Okay, here you okay. go. Here's the, here's the email. Don't don't read the actual names in it, but Pika who? Study reveals the internet most forgettable Pokemon. Pika who? That's a that's a good headline. That's a good subject. Ten most forgettable Pokemon according to the internet. Trumbeak is the most forgettable Pokemon with only 6,557 average searches. Per month across the globe. What's y'all's problem with Trumbeak? What what makes him so different from the other five thousand other Pokemon that you refuse to search for him? Generations five. Can anyone can anyone post a link to Bulbapedia or like or at least an image of Trumbeak? A non-pornographic one, please. Please. Uh, Generation five's so you know a region has four entries on the list, and Primeape. <clears throat> Primeape is the only first generation Pokemon on the list. Yeah, Primeape. Couldn't believe it. That poor guy. He's got kids to feed. Do I need to name the people who, who sent this? Uh, you can use pseudonyms. Mult I like the name of this place, though. It's very funny. Yeah, what's the- what are they citing? Multiple card game experts at World of Card Games <laughs> have analyzed Google search volumes from the past year to discover which of the 1,010 total monsters have been forgotten by people worldwide. There are over a thousand! Oh my god! That's insane! How do you keep track of them? Go on. There's a lot of just really boring copy in here, so let me skip over that. You, you, can, you can read it anyway. <laughs> okay. In 2020, the Pokemon Company released the results of their Pokemon of the Year poll, which saw Kalos star Greninja being crowned the favorite. Oh, Greninja. This poll was open to a global audience, but the new study's findings show a different picture across the globe. Although Pikachu ranks first in the new study with an average search volume of 4,519,883 per month, That's a lot the of bottom searches. 10 are compromised of much more recent creatures. Mm. The most for other hero... That's Trubbish. Where, where, okay, let me see what the beak guy looks like. Yeah, who's the most hated Pokemon? There he is. There's the world's most hated Pokemon. He does look pretty boring. That people refuse to to search for on the internet. The most forgettable Pokemon in the world is Trumbeak with 6,557 monthly searches on average. The middle evolution of Alola's regional bird Pokemon, Trumbeak, can be obtained early on and becomes more useful once it becomes oh, Q cannon. Oh, it's a, it's a middle evolution that explains it. Flambebe ranks with 7,979 average monthly searches. Flam Flambebe? Flambebe is the base form of Florges, a fairy type introduced in the sixth generation of games. It is rarer than the middle evolution of Floet in many games and is also a weak Pokemon found in early sections of the game. Third place belongs to Cinepore, with an average of 9,909 monthly searches, respectively. Cinepore puts in a Cinepore performance. This month, Pokemon debuted in Unova along with other members of the trio, Simiseer and Simisage. Which of the monkey trio the player re receives depends on the start of Pokemon they choose to get. That juice! Thank you for the nine months! Glad that you juice, finally caught a stream! Nine years of never catching a live stream. What a treat We're talking for you. about the world's least favorite Pokemon. Thank you for the, the sub. The fourth most forgettable Pokemon. Yeah. Is Thwacky. Thwack? That's fake. That is the fake. You can't, you can't tell me Thwacky's With real. With an average monthly search volume of 10,244, Thwacky appeared at the Butte in the Goar region and is the middle evolution of grass starter, Grookey. 
Oh, people just aren't about the middle evolutions. They either stick with the, the first form, or they evolve all the way, leaving the middles just without an audience, without a family. Primeape comes fifth with an average of 10,491 monthly searches. Primeape is the only Pokemon on the list from the first generation of games, and is the evolved form of Mankey. What's wrong with Primeape? All right, now it's time for the top 10 most forgettable Pokemon in the world list. We got Trombeak, Slabebe, Simaporth, Wacky, and Primeape, but here are the rest. Vanillish, with 10,694 searches. That's fake. No, that's the ice cream. That's the middle evolution of the ice cream. Simisage, with 10,995. Porygon 2, with only 11,882. Y'all forgot there was a Porygon 2! It's all about the original Porygon, but you just forget that there's a sequel. Whirlypede, with 12,613. And Drizzile, with 12,832. Whirlypede? <laughs> really? Listen, in 6 is Vanillish with 10,694 average searches per month. Another Pokemon from the Unova region. Vanillish is the middle evolution of Vanillite line based on ice cream. That cream. was sick. That was sick what I just did. Nice. Take take my word for it. I believe you. Another member of the Unova Monkey Trio, Simisage, is in 7th place with 10,995 average monthly ser searches. Porygon 2 stands in 8th place with 11,882 average searches per month. This Pokemon debuted in the second generation of Johto games as the evolution of Porygon. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now we're all learning. Rounding out the list is Whirlipede, the middle evolution in the Venipede line with 12,613 average searches per month. And finally, Drizzile, the, evo the evolved form of Sobble at 12,832 average searches per month. Whirlipede, not a popular Pokemon, but a very good ZX Spectrum game. A spokesperson for World of Card Games commented on the findings. <laughs> These are very upsetting. We are taking this very seriously as a threat to our existence. Pokemon has captured the imagination of children and adults alike with its colorful creatures and worlds. The trading card game attracts vast audiences to the World Championships, which have taken place in London, and this year will take place in Yokohama, Japan. Many collectors and players of the card game seek out alternate art artwork and special editions which feature these Pokemon. Oh. And as many players forget them, these may be among the rarest cards due to a lack of demand for reprints. I see! It's the card fuckers who are doing this. They're all like, oh, watch out for the unpopular Pokemon. You may be able to get rich off of cards based on them. This study, Suddenly it all makes sense. This study illustrates how much recognition the brand has built over its 27 year history, and it will be interesting to see if newer Pokemon can start to break into the top instead of. instead of being forgotten. Yep. It's all. it's all big business, baby. Once you're. once you're the. once you're the, the top of the Pokemon food chain the next day, you're the least searched Pokemon in the entire world. It could happen to you too, folks. Always be grateful for what you have. Thank you, really thank good. you, Alex. I'll take that back. Okay. So that's the <laughs> that's most forgettable Pokemon. That's what <laughs> multiple decades of being a video game journalist gets you. You just get insane PR sent to you every single day. Either it's about the uh, <laughs> the the unreleased Super Mario 65, or it's about Trubbish or whatever that guy was named. It well, Trubbish didn't even feature in the thing, and then. No one's talking about Trubbish. We love Trubbish. Let's let's riz up that number one Pokemon. Who was he? Oh my god. I already forgot. I, already for <laughs> I forgot. Oh my god. Well, maybe they have a point. <laughs> anyway. Trumbeak. Trumbeak. Yeah, there you go. There he is. Riz up Trumbeak. Yeah, give him some of that riz. I've discovered this game is really fun, and you can just talk about whatever bullshit while you're playing it, because all you got to do is make the little blue man jump and fire. You, if you bought dog football with, with Jerry Rice and Nido, that's on you. We didn't encourage anybody. Nidus. Nidus, sorry. Nido is from something else, ain't he? That's from Dark Souls. Cool! I wish! I'm gonna look at Trumbeak some more. Wow. That's a really boring Pokemon. <laughs> I'm having a good time tonight. Uh, are you having a good time? I'm, I'm glad to be here with you sharing these uh, these gaming moments. It's pronounced Nido? Well, I don't think it's that neat. 
You laughed at that. That's your problem. Thank you, Cinco Play, for the 13-month resub. That's the Baker's Dozen of a resub. Thank you. What's worse? This What's this game? Looks worse than Bubsy. I oh, don't know. That's up to you. We have to decide that in a few minutes. Thank you for the sub or, or, or bits. It was a sub. It, it was, was a, a sub. sub. Okay, your, good. Your brain is going away at the speed of light. I've got Mega Man brain. All right, should I cheat my way through this next part or do it for real? I gotta at least try to do it for real, right? Mm-hmm. Well, that's cheat. a good start. I hate this stage so much. Cheat! I think it's the fourth block that tries to trick you. I hate that. Oh, yeah. I wow, sure that. this sucks. Yeah, they really amped this up for the second game. We'll give it a couple mm. tries. Oh, yeah. Okay. No, we got this. You gotta get the Riz to Riz up. We gotta defeat Riz Man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> it's cool! I'm gonna do that. Okay. I've decided I'm gonna do that. If you can beat... Wait, you didn't beat the Guts Man part. Fuck it, then. I'm just gonna yeah, cheat my ass about? off. Yeah, what are you talking about? I didn't do shit. You did cheat. You think so? Yeah, I think so. I wanna try it one more time. Okay, okay. I don't know who I'm trying... what I'm trying to prove or who I'm proving it to. I just wanna be like all the big famous VTubers who stream Mega Man. I'm sorry that you're not a famous VTuber. Someday. Someday. You're gonna be one of those VTubers that people are gonna make, like, videos about. I'm sorry. <laughs> what kind of videos, Alex? I don't know. I don't watch VTuber videos, so I don't know what they're about. Well... They're certainly about lots of things. Danny, whatever you do, don't rap. <laughs> you should... Ten minute Danny Noises compilation. Yeah, exactly. Let's <laughs> just release that as a remix. No, I got this. I totally got this. We're gonna do this without damage, without death. <laughs> Thank you for the 25 bits for Bullworth edition, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. See, it's easy. You just gotta have played a video game before. One, two, three, four, five! <laughs> I jumped on three instead of four. Sorry, folks. I failed you. I'll never be like the famous Mega Man VTubers now. VTuber. I could. That's pretty easy to do. I mean, there's a lot of ways to become infamous. I don't know if you wanna. You could be, like, infamous for <laughs> taking a dump in the middle of the mall. That would make you famous. <laughs> that would be also pretty, uh, pretty unique in terms, of, in terms of VTuber promotion. We'll table that. We'll put that in our list of ideas. Okay. We'll see if we can think of anything else first. Before we go to extremes. <laughs> Would anyone notice if I took a dump in the mall? <laughs> I mean, it depends on them all. They'd probably notice at the fancy mall. <laughs> but I think you should do it at the fancy mall anyway, because that'd be the funniest place to do it. Just... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to hit the guy. Yeah, VTuber with IBS. These are all good ideas. These are fantastic I am, ideas. I am writing these down and not just submitting them directly to the, the, the trash can. <laughs> I don't even know who's being banned at this point, but they deserve it. We're both it. being banned. I guess we should do now that we're VTubers, we have to react to things now, honey. 
No, I'm reacting all right. Like, we need to, like... We need to do tier rankings of food or whatever. Um, tacos, number one. They're one of my favorite foods. That would be S tier. S tier, yes. You're right, you're right. Uh, dosas. Also S tier. What the fuck is that? <gasps> oh my god, Danny. It's like, it's, it's an Indian food that's like a gluten-free crepe. It's so good. Oh my god. Oh my god, you haven't heard of Dosa's people? D-O-S-A. Oh my god. One, I got I get a two. two three, three. Four. four five. five. Mm, mm, nice. Mm, mm, mm. See? Told you I could do it. Alright, go on. Keep talking about your fake food. Dosa's are good! You did it! Thank you, Spartanberry. 51 month Arisa. I just got here and have one question. Air Manuel Tao Simasuka. <laughs> Hi. Thank you. Thank you. That was that famous song. It's easy to beat Air Man. Dosa's really delicious. Dosa's so, 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 so you know good. This, you notice this guy looks like a Zippo lighter? He does. I always thought that was pretty good. You know, I kind of like normal mode in this game. I'm supposed to be the hardcore gamer who loves expert mode and refuses to play anything easier, but normal mode was why I was able to play this game as much as I did as a kid and enjoy it, and even beat it eventually. Mega Man 1, I didn't even come close. 3 took me a while. But this one, at normal difficulty, I always felt it was like... A Kid appropriate, <laughs> not just like not trying to brutalize the children who are trying to enjoy your video game. Alex, did you know normal mode is not in the Japanese version? It's expert only. I didn't know that. So people tend to have different uh, opinions of this game based on difficulty, depending on which region you played it in. Nine one. Danny, did you see the KFC Birani bucket? No. It's, it's Is that a Pokemon? No, you know Birani. It's a uh, it's 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 the like Indian fried rice thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's you good. You like that? Yeah, no, I do no. Like that stuff. Yeah, a uh, uh, KFC has a it just has a bucket in, in India of Birani, just a giant giant chicken bucket filled with it. All right, Alex. Biryani. Biryani. While, Sorry, I'm mispronouncing it. While the most famous and most remixed song from this game plays in the background, why don't we rank Mega Man 2? Oh, shit, yeah, let's go. Mega Man 2, let's make this official. Is it better or worse than Bubsy? <laughs> let's get this out of the way. In my opinion, um, just barely, yes. Mm, better, better, angel, 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 yeah, yeah. Yeah, people tend to like this. Even people who want to try and be cool and not like whatever's popular, they gotta admit Mega Man 2's pretty good. This is easily top 100. Possibly top 50? Maybe top 10? How far up are we putting this? We're not putting this but between Boogerman and Ernest Evans. If you were, folks in the chat, if you were to decide between top 100, top 50, or top 10, what would your choice be? 50. Why don't you uh, why don't you display our top ten on the screen the right now? Super Mario World, Kirby Superstar, Castlevania of the Night, Super Mario Brothers Three, <clears throat> Sonic CD, Sonic the Hedgehog Two, Ghouls and Ghosts, Sonic Mania, and Demon's Crest, and Super Ghouls and Ghosts. These games are all pretty good. Top ten, top fifty, top ten, top ten. Oh, we might be putting this in the top ten. This is one of the, the games in the series where if people put one of them in the top ten, it would be it would be this one usually. God, what a good game this is. Okay. I love playing and enjoying games normally. How about between Super Ghouls and Ghosts and Rocket Knight Adventures? That would be number eleven or that something? That would be eleven, yeah. What do we think about that? I see above Sonic Mania, above Sonic C D. I see number six. I could make a case for above Sonic Mania. What's right above Sonic Mania? Ghouls and Ghosts in the arcade. How about um, between Sonic Mania and Ghouls and Ghosts? I don't think you're going to put it above Ghouls Nothing and Ghosts. I say could ever make this above Ghouls and Ghosts, in my opinion. Oh yeah, yeah. flashing for this part, beware. I did it. 
I say between ghouls and ghosts and Sonic Mania, if it was Danny's expert pick, is there any backlash to this? Do I have to back off of my some controversial... Some people say lower, some people say higher, but we're definitely in the right range. Oh, that works? You thinking on it? I support Danny's pick. That's my place. I agree with Danny. Okay. I'm going with Danny then. Between All right. Ghouls and ghosts and Sonic Mania. Between yeah. ghouls and ghosts and Sonic Mania, we have a new number... What is it? Uh, number eight. Number eight on our list of more than 500 mascot platformers is Mega Man 2. Congratulations, Mega Man 2. And I have to stop playing this game before the really bad part. <laughs> so Yay! I only get to play the good parts of Mega Man 2. There is a boss the uh, where you just have to use crash bombs carefully in order to beat this weird room full of stupid shit that sucks. I don't like that part. I hate stupid rooms that suck. Yeah. There's some stuff in this game that's a little bit unpolished, owing to it being kind of rushed and barely being made at all. But overall, super, super good game, especially for the time it came out. So, everyone was looking forward to Mega Man 3. What do you think of that segue? That was totally intentional. Very sick. Look at this. What a way to begin your game. I do love this music. This track is great. Yeah! All right. Fuck yes. Okay, Danny. Once again, who should I be? Alright, your, fi your final challenge of the evening is to beat Top Man. Okay. You've beaten Cut Man. You've beaten Flash Man. Now beat Top Man. Top Man. Top Man. The opposite of Italian Bottoms. <sighs> Listen! Come on, man! Now, Alex, in this game, there's something new that Mega Man can do. If you push down diagonally one direction and push jump, he will slide. He goes a little bit faster. That can cause you to skip some enemy spawns if you're a speedrunner. And it just feels really good. Alex is getting a Mega Man Crash Course education tonight. I'm glad we were able to do this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's full of weed this stage! It is! This, this stage is. is full of weed. This is a uh, Top Man's famous weed hothouse. <laughs> also featured Dank in the Man. hit arcade game called uh, Narc. Dank Man was the final boss of Narc. Still alive somehow. You're doing it. You're making it happen. Oh, man! They made so many of these, I'm surprised there's not a Mega Man 420. Ooh. There should be. Hey, you know, as weed becomes more legal in more parts of the world, <laughs> Capcom's eventually gonna cave to my demands to make a mm -hmm. Weed Man. And then Weed Man will become the star of the Mega Man series, and it'll no longer be Mega Man, it'll be Weed Man. Kenny, this is just your posts on stonerspeak.net, isn't it? Look at that fucking cat. Alex, I'm a moderator at stonerspeak.net. <laughs> Stonerspeak. It took a while to get to where I was. I don't appreciate you downplaying it. Wait, starting from the beginning? Yeah. The checkpoints are a little bit... Ungenerous sometimes in this. Don't like that. Now there's big contention in the gaming world over which is better, Mega Man 2 or 3. So we'll be focusing on that when we uh, eventually come to rank this. In fact, I think I'm going to put up a Twitch poll just to make it official. Whatever end up, ends up winning, I want you all to know that both games are excellent. If you like one over the other, that doesn't make you, uh, stupid. <laughs> you can like whatever you want more than other things. Oh, I wouldn't have thought to not make the jump there. You're... You're discovering all the big plays where you don't jump. That and the, uh, the quick man jump. I'm just doing my best, not jumping. PC98 Jr. thinks Mega Man 1 is better than 3. Holy shit. 
We have some fringe gamer opinions in the audience tonight. One is really good, though, is the thing. Even if it's not completely polished or whatever. That's true, it doesn't have the terrible Wily Castle bosses from 2. That's the big point in many pe that many people cite. You don't have to do the, uh... That one shitty boss. That cat is kicking your ass. Yeah, I can't beat the cat, Danny. Fuck top man. Alex has got to beat this cat first. Every morning, I have to defeat the cat enemy. Because every morning, <laughs> a certain cat named Tess wakes... T this morning, she woke me at 2 a.m., and then 3 a.m., and then 4 a.m. Why? Look at all this slowdown. Yeah, it's great. I love it. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, once she woke me up at 4 a.m., I had to kick her, out of, kick her out and be like, No! Yeah, we're dividing up feeding duties in order to keep us from going insane, and the cats are taking advantage of that by trying to wake us up on the hour. <laughs> every hour. Yeah. Like, oh, you're trying to do things differently. That means feeding me constantly, right? You gotta feed the cat, boss. You do. The cats are colluding. <laughs> There's cat collusion going on. Alright, your hint for the cat boss is not to touch the cat boss because it does a shit ton of damage. Okay. Just try and tough it out with the, uh, the balls it's throwing at you. Okay. Mascots, fuck off. <laughs> we do, we cover nothing but little mascots. And so Alex finally meets his gamer doom at the hands of the tabby cat in Top Man's level. Oh, you got another life. Want to give it another try? Yep. Do not touch the cat boss. Yeah, this is your place for controversial Mega Man opinions. We're never going to play another Mega Man game as long as we live, so you better speak now while you can. You like Mega Man 7? I didn't like it when I rented it when it was new, but I'm curious to play it again now. Because I know other people had the same opinion I did where it didn't really resonate the first time through. It is very different from the other Mega Man. <laughs> My opinion is Mega Man X7 is enjoyably stupid. <laughs> a lot of people say it's it's worse than a painful death, but personally, I had a, gr a good old time with that game. Even if you made me turn the volume down. Oh, I did, didn't I? <laughs> did I ever tell that story on stream about how... <laughs> I was into used games at the time, so I was playing a combination of uh, new Xbox games and like old shitty PS2 games I got from GameStop. Alex, to his credit, we were we were living in the same room at the same time, basically around this time. So he was around me constantly. He had to listen to me learn guitar from step one using Rocksmith. Uh huh. So Alex heard about sixty or seventy renditions of uh, Rolling Stones's what was that song at the start of the game? Oh. Oh my god. Down, 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 oh, down. Oh, satisfaction. satisfaction. Yeah, uh, heard a amateur guitar player play that over and over and over again. The worst noise possible that you can possibly imagine. <laughs> and Alex is like, this is fine, this is normal. <laughs> I start up Mega Man X7, and there's a character who nags you all the time and says, Come in, Zero. Can you hear me? Zero. Come in, Zero. And after, like, five minutes of playing that, Alex was like, if you don't turn off the volume, I'm going to die. Please, please mute the audio on this. Yeah, it was, I remember that now. I was like, is that the can you hear me, Zero? Because I remember yes. that actually making, I was, yeah. It just... So the worst guitar noises ever didn't even register with you, no. but, but Mega Man X7, it really did it. <laughs> and that game bugs you constantly. It never stops letting you know if you don't accept the, uh the communications calls. Can you hear me? Zero? I remember you being in a lava place and not just going off constantly and yeah. you're just thinking, I'm going to die. <laughs> <laughs> Can you hear me? X? Come in? X? We gotta play Mega Man X7 one of these days. I agree. 
a fun thing I learned about the game is that in the English version, the boss weaknesses are broken, and the boss weaknesses only do one damage to each of them. So that's, like, extra cool. So Alex, you want to know how I did this as a kid? I used a turbo controller. <laughs> Would you like to try turbo? What's turbo? Which button? Arm? Let me let me enable it for you. Is it the button button that says turbo? No. <laughs> it's uh, you do this. All right, Alex. Let's see if you can handle the cats now. This is true to back in the day experience. I had an NES Max that I would use to play this game. Terrible, terrible D-pad to use with this. However, it had turbo, so that made it the controller I used. I have heard of Duff McWhalen. <laughs> we gotta, we have a lot to learn with the Mega Man series, apparently. Yay! I need that. We gotta complete your Mega Man education. So far, you've only played the DOS one and one through three. Mm-hmm. You gotta Mega My Man. I don't think we can do that on Twitch. Right. Still like my idea of doing a hot tub stream from the state fair. <laughs> state fair of all places. We need state fair streamers! I guess. Is there any demand for such a thing? Yes! Yes! I demand it! Well, this is a good run so far. Yeah. Turbo's pretty nice in these games, I gotta say. Yeah, see? Okay. <laughs> I was like that as a kid. I couldn't push buttons very fast, so having a turbo controller definitely helped. Look at you zooming around. With your newfound confidence. I'm so fun. Oh, God! Another one! Oh, okay. No problem. I'm not wrong, but still deserve to be banned. That's... <laughs> I'm glad you explained your, your thought process. That's fair to me. So what are the advantages to doing a fairground uh, hot tub stream? Um, we wouldn't have to pay for a hot tub. The hot tub would be free. Okay. Do we have to let all the carnies in with us? Yes! That we gotta do interviews with them! Ooh. That'd be so sick! Oh, you- oh, 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 you're like, oh, no, but no way, man. You don't want- you- that would be sick. Admit it. Probably literally, yeah. We'd probably catch some kind of disease. <laughs> Goodbye, Alex. Carnies are great! I love them! Yeah, we would also get Legionnaire's disease. <laughs> That's fine, though. Nothing wrong with getting- Nothing wrong with little Legionnaire's! It just adds to your life experience. Play a little Mega Man, get a little Legionnaire's disease. Mm -hmm. Hang out with a carny or two. I just think, Live a little, right? I just think that state fairs, you know, they have celebs and stuff at them. Musicians mostly. When are they going to have streamers? Well, they're going to have to get pretty desperate. <laughs> that said, uh, Texas State Fair, call me. We could, we could stream from Big Tex. Streaming from live from inside Big Texas, the, burnt husk of a body. The, the rodeo in San Antonio, call me. Call me, we'll set something up. I do want to go to the rodeo sometime. I'll be the rodeo, pals. And it wouldn't even be my first rodeo. Mm. We'll make it the gay rodeo. I think it's Danny's turn. Good work, Alex. Thank you. So, did you find this game pretty tough? Yes, very tough. It's pretty tough, isn't it? It often gets underrated in terms of toughness, but uh, Mega Man 3, it brings the heat. All right, I'm, I'm playing now. very sage advice for the raid. We are streaming Mega Man 3 and ranking this bad boy. Hey, thanks for the raid. Hope you had a good stream. We're playing Mega Man. We're being all mainstream today. Usually we play garbage. <laughs> yeah, we're playing normal game. You just you can just walk off the damn platforms here. You don't even gotta jump. Also really glad I put the auto fire on because man, this brings me back. Kids like to talk shit nowadays about being hardcore games, but 
Way back when, we cheated our asses off. Oh, for sure. There is one boss in Mega Man 2 you can get stuck at if you won't run out of weapon energy. And the only way that's feasibly possible is if you cheat and uh, come there with Game Genie on. I found that out the hard way. I cheated. Game Genie also made the music in Mega Man 2 weird. It, Yay! Like, yeah, it affected something strange. Yeah, gamers used to be weaker. People were like, oh, gamers used to be so much stronger during the retro days. That's not true. Yeah, gamers have leveled up. <laughs> yeah, after Hugo and Balan, we need, like, normal game. True, that's that's what I figured. I was like, I can't I can't follow up on <laughs> Hugo and Balan Wonderworld. We're gonna have to recalibrate with Mega Man. We'll have to beat Calibration Man. Calibration man, huh? Yeah. I love him. It's the end of the stream. That's the quality of jokes you're gonna get. Look, you come up with something better. What's your funny Mega Man boss? Um... Crop Man, and he does a bad job of it, too. His vi his uh, his images are cropped poorly. Oh, it's... <laughs> I thought you meant, like, farm crops. No way! I guess it could be like farm crop. Okay. A man, a man who crops your images. We are not doing a hot tub stream on the train, but we will be riding the train at some point in our lives. Personally, I use a uh, Photoshop man. That's I'm just kidding. I use Earth and View man. <laughs> He's, the... He's free. He'll do anything. We have fun here. We do, we do. You got topspin! It's not a game. I think so, actually, yeah. Good call. It's a tennis game. Oh yeah, Gay Corn Man from Belong Wonderworld. Oh, I forgot about Gay Corn Man! How could you forget? Our, our, our Discord's been going all about him! He invented the gay corn and solved all the problems. I'm gonna assume we need to read the novelization to figure out what actually happened. Mm -hmm. It's so funny that that's actually the case. <laughs> they don't explain anything in the game. Ooh, Alex, you haven't seen this part of the game yet. Check uh -huh. this out. What? Who's this guy? It's Mega Man's disowned brother, Bruce. Bruce? Kill him! Also known as Proto Man. Kill Bruce! The only Bruce we see is Bruce Valanche or whatever. Alex. What? Sorry. Go slightly more contemporary. Bruce Campbell, all right? Okay, okay. Come on. You gotta make us look good. That looks cool. Not all of us. A lot of us. But not all of us constantly watch old episodes of Hollywood Squares. <laughs> or whatever you're watching that has Bruce Valanche on it. <laughs> I'm not watching anything with Bruce Valanche. I've just got Bruce on the brain. Okay. I'm watching the... Bruce Valanche isn't on the Today Show. It's Al Roker. The, the Today Show is just... Uh, Today's just... Al Roker is still alive? Yes, he is! He's still on the Today Show, too! Wow. And guess what? He's still great! He's still a great guy! Like, he's still great at his job. He's a good weatherman. He always struck me as being pretty funny. He's very funny! He's, like, really... He's good at keeping the show moving along. He's good at, like... Like, because they have all these guests that they're moving along and stuff. It's great. He does a really good job. And, uh... He's, he's the best part. But the best part is that uh, they cut to the local weather, too, and our local weather woman for, like, the past, since I got the... Fuck, don't do that! <laughs> okay, don't do that, since I've been... That's a bad idea. Every day she's like, and it's 100 degrees today, very hot, gonna suck, well, bye, that's Thanks. it. Thanks, weather lady. Just many, many days, and she hasn't stopped that. She's just like, it's really hot, it's gonna be hot, another scorcher. And she's right, it has been scorch fortune. Yeah, it's been scorch core over here. God, it freaking has. If you like being scorched, come to Austin, Texas. Where it is 118 degrees. It's too hot in this stupid city. It needs to be cooler. You know, one of the other reasons I'm waking up at 7 a.m. is because it's the only time I can go outside and I don't feel like I'm being murdered. <laughs> 
The weather is murdering me. It sucks. It just gets out and good old knife and stabs me. Very rude. It feels aggressive, yeah. The weather we're getting lately. Let's be Shadow Man. All right, kill Shadow Man. You got it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I used up all my top spin. Uh oh. Uh, luckily, my honed gamer skills will get us through this. They're non rich parts of Austin. <laughs> you have to look. <laughs> oh, God, one damage, huh? He slides too? I'm fucked. I am fucked to the moon. That was a bad idea. I should have taken the death the first time. I shouldn't have wasted all my top man energy. Classic mistake. Also, maybe it's just me. This game's dropping a lot of my inputs. Yeah, I felt that way too. I think it has to do with all the slowdown it's doing. The input handler is uh, busted, as the experts might say. He didn't touch me! Bad hitbox. Game's broken. The sun was in my eyes. Sorry, honey. Let's fight Snake Man. Okay. Everyone's fave. Snake Man, Snake Man, it's Snake Man. Snake Man. I like Snake Man. He has a good stage. Yeah. You ever seen this? Oh, I know this! It's a snakey stage. Yeah. It's a gigantic snake scan. It must feel disgusting. Ugh. No offense to all you snake people out there. I was gonna say, like, half of our audience is snakes, right? Like... We're like a uh, tenth reptilian, a third furry, and all cop. <laughs> <laughs> it's the worst persona I've ever heard of. <laughs> okay, we got amphibians, okay. You're right, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just a cartoon. I'm, I'm not a creature as much as I'm just a cartoon. I'm a cartoon creature. That's the kind of scrimblo I am. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a failed Ruby Spears production that never got off the ground. That's the lore. Actually, was I? Would I be Ruby Spears? Whose lore runs them Ruby Spears? Like, I'm trying to think. Not Hanna Barbera because they had some good stuff. Filmation. Oh. Ugh. I'm Filmation, baby! <laughs> it sounds like it. <laughs> Ooh. It's all close-ups of my face barely moving. I said Ruby Spears, not Britney Spears, but... <laughs> I am Widget the World Watcher. I wish... Drag... Alex plushies, that's a lot of work. Well, you wouldn't have to sew them individually. Okay. We'll order them from China or something. Thank you, Bok Bok Bagok, for the 100 bits. Do you guys plan to finish the horror that is Balan Wonderworld, or was that a uh, one-off thing? One-off! <laughs> I don't know if anyone wants to see us play more Balan Wonderworld. Well, you do, obviously, but... I don't, I don't see much demand for it. I had fun with the little bit I played of it, but also it was wearing thin when we stopped. Glad I got the experience of playing it, though. Now I know what kind of game not to make if I want to stay out of jail. You know, one of these days we're going to have to think up a second joke. About? About Yuji Naka. Being in jail, yeah. Um... <laughs> what if I went to jail? I think it'd go a little something like this. Ah! Is that good? Yeah, sure. Okay, cool. Me when I meet make Yuji Naka in prison. Whoa, it's Yuji Naka, father of Sonic. This is just a... This is sub-family guy. This is worse than that time we came up with jokes about Yuji Naka. <laughs> Should I start watching? 
watching Family Guy? No. Okay, you're right. I shouldn't. That shows a bad influence, judging by the names people enter on the pinball table. <laughs> That's true. Oh, yeah, this guy's impossible. Why did I fight Snake Man? Because you love Snake Man. Ugh. I'm just a Mega Man. Don't fight me. I'm allergic to snakes. They just touch you and deal a billion damage. Damn. I'll beat Snake Man. He'll beat Snake Man. Don't beat snakes, they're nice. Well, some snakes are nice. Some snakes are not nice, famously. Snake whacking day is coming up. Who's gonna win the damage race? Nice! It was me. That wasn't an especially great fight. I just took less hits than he did. <laughs> Sorry, Dream Harrier, I beat Snake Man. Yeah, we killed him. And we got the search snake. What's that do? It can search out your secrets. Don't look at my secrets, Snake Man! Magnet Man! Of course! He's the easy one to start with. Put him by your uh, hard drive. I just- I'm just picking dudes at random. I'm not doing any kind of boss order here. It's been too long since I've Mega Man. I like the clouds a lot. Yeah, it looks cool. It looks really nice. Visually, this series does some really cool stuff on NES. A lot of really good sprites. Strange looking robot creatures. Men made of magnets. Can you imagine such a thing? Here he is. It's Bruce. Bruce! Bruce Almighty! Bruce Almighty 2! <laughs> Evan Almighty is what it was called. I don't know any Bruce jokes, okay? <laughs> you don't have to come up with Bruce jokes. That's what the audience pays for. Don't feel Bruce. pressured. The audience is gonna know if you're reaching for your Bruce jokes. True, true. And they'll hate you for it. We pay for quality Bruce jokes, on jokes only. And thus far, the Bruce jokes have been Bruce juking you. They sure have. I got Bruce. I am Bruce Philanthropilled, yes. Oh, this is why I don't do Magnet Man. Yeah, alright, we're gonna do one of these again. Oh, I hate these. It's a beloved series staple, Alex. Okay, so the only Chuck Norris joke I have is that they Chuck Norris has his own water that that's an H-E-B that, like, it's from his apparently own well on his farm. And it's really cheap? Yeah? I'm afraid of it! It's called Sea Force! Would you drink the Sea Force water if I bought it? It's just water, but it's like from it's like from Chuck Norris's private like The letter C or the or The letter C. Okay. Alright, that's better. Like Chuck Norris Force. I thought he was selling seawater for you to drink. That would be pretty fun. That'd be a pretty good grift. Why am I so bad at this? Wait a second. I forgot about one of the additions to this game. His famous dog. Did you know he can just have a dog any time in this? I guess so. He doesn't stick around, though. Nice. Alright, what's the pattern here? Oh, easy. I don't think I could beat up Chuck Norris. In fact, I'm pretty sure I couldn't. But guess what? I wouldn't try. That would not be... If Chuck Norris tried to fight me, I would just de-escalate the situation. I'd be like, no, no, that's, sorry, yeah, come that's on. That's probably the smart move, honestly. No, I, I wouldn't fight anybody. If anybody tried to fight me, I'd just de-escalate it. I'd just be like, ah, you know, come on, Buck, come on. I'm just a little guy, come on. Because I, I wouldn't 
start. I don't start shit in the first place. I'm just a little streamer guy. You don't want to mess yeah. with me, Mr. Chuck Norris. Come on. Oh, come on. You got better things to do with your time. Just because I made fun of your your water. Come on. It's got a, it's got Chuck Norris's face on it, by the way. Okay. See, it's just I, I'm in. The, I, for a while, I was trying all the different waters, and that's the only one I haven't tried. Trying all the different waters. Yeah, no, I was like. I, I was like, I, I saw something about alkaline water, and I was like, okay, I'll try alkaline water. And I tried a bunch of different brands, and I, I was like, this kind of sucks. I don't have this guy's weakness, do I? Mm. Oh, I sure don't. That's okay, we got this. My favorite fancy water is HEB's electrolyte water, because it's the same, pr it's like way cheaper than the other fancy waters, and it's really good. It's just really nice water. Shout out to HEB. He's having a temper tantrum. <laughs> He's being a magnet. That's how he expresses it. That's fair. By vibrating. There we go. Nice. You should have called him Easy Man. <laughs> oh, hint! I've had hint, yeah! Hints of good water. We're all talking about waters we like. H-E-B has their own variety that's kind of like that called Infusion. That would be cool if Chuck Jones had the, his own <laughs> water. That would be sick! Oh my god! Where's the Mel Blanc water? <laughs> okay, if there's Fred Flintstone water, I'd drink it. Who the fuck am I fighting next? What is... Yeah, let's fight Jiminy Man. Jiminy Man. Jiminy. I'm not a member of Water TikTok. I refuse to join. I, I look at Water TikTok and they're not just drinking water, they're drinking like powdered stuff constantly. And it's just like. They're like, mmm, water's so good. No, it's like water is so good, but I don't need it to be filled with like flavor packets. I like some flavor packets, but like I've seen on Water TikTok where these ladies are going water like. Water TikTok. Yeah, the, okay, so Danny, do you know about Utah soda stores? No. Is it a is it a Mormon thing? Kind of. But in, in Utah, because there's a lot of Mormons uh, who don't drink booze and stuff like that, there's a lot of basically soda bars where you can get soda mixed together with different, like, syrups and stuff like that. Like, you can get, like, Sprite mixed with cherry and uh, vanilla and there's like hundreds of combinations you can get. Ooh. Oh, I did it! I broke Bruce! Bruce is supposed to show up there. The game gets really mad if you don't do that. What? I don't, I've never done that before. Also, it cuts off all music to the level. Cool. And you get to hear the full Bruce theme. This is something usually only speedrunners do. So odds are if you're if you watch Twitch you've only seen it a thousand times. But you've never nice. seen Danny do it. Mega Man in the eerie silence. There oh okay, so you've had this you know those sodas way, do look way too sweet to me. What happened? I'm stuck. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> Wish I could beat Soda Man. I could go for a soda. soda. I have soda. I have Italian. So I still have some prickly pear left. I'm so excited. Oh, you need the freaking Rush Marine for this level. Oh yeah, and this is the thing. That's supposed to look like a friendly penguin, but if you mess up the Bruce sequence, the game doesn't like it. Yeah, it's not very friendly. Alex, I'm proud of you for remembering that he's called the Blue Bomber when you promoted today's Yeah, thing. it's one of the few things I know. I know some video game stuff. Alex asked me if that was accurate before the show, and I was like, yeah, good job. I was like, yay! Thank you, Kyle Gizmo, for the 16-month resub. What is this weird, obscure game? I don't know! Uh, I heard some people talking about it. Figured it was worth a shot, this mm -hmm. Mega Man. I don't know. I, I, they have a point. It's pretty good. Ooh, okay. You're doing good. 
Well. I was prepared to take a hit from the mosquito, and then the they torpedoed me. Now we're back to the normal music and video game. Boop. Normally, you're supposed to have the dog who transforms into a submarine at this part, but I didn't kill the right boss. Always killing the wrong boss. His name is Rush, I'm sorry. I, I just called him the dog. <laughs> He's only named after one of the greatest bands of the 20th century, It's true, Danny. is this thing? You do know this game has a vague musical theme? That I know. Yeah, I know about so that's literally why he's called Rush. Which is really funny to it me. It is funny. I want to know who on staff. Who is the big Rush fan? Mm -hmm. Name yourself. Let's name and shame. Who's, 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 who's screaming Tom Sawyer? It was Neil Peart. Okay. Neil Peart, famous for designing Mega Man 3. Yeah. Oh, uh, what's for him? Snakes? I don't know, no snakes. That's a Home Alone reference. You can tell I've stopped caring. <laughs> you really have. <laughs> he died. Well, he's too tough for me. Did I have an extra life in reserve? Okay, good. High school is the time to be a Rush Mega fan. In general, the worst jokes I tell on stream uh, come with I'm, when I'm really concentrating on the game. I tend to just say whatever first comes to mind. <laughs> so if you hear me something, say something really stupid, that means I'm having a good time. Mm -hmm. Nice! He's weak to snakes. <laughs> Alright, so as I prepare to do Needleman stage, we have important business. We do. I'm gonna start a polling chat. Which is better? Mega Man 2? Mega Man 3? Don't allow additional votes. You cannot buy your way into this vote. Democracy is not for sale! This is a three-minute poll, so roughly the time it's going to take me to get through Needleman stage, you have your chance to make your the most important decision of your life. Vote now. The two, the two big hits for Mega Man on the NES. Which is better, Mega Man 2 or Mega Man 3? It all comes down to this. 60 years of Mega Man have all led up to this point. Needleman! I feel like this is a historic moment in gaming. <laughs> like we're making gamer history? Yeah. Because it's a big point of contention among gamers, right? Usually it's like, oh, Mega Man 2 is the best one, or no, Mega Man 3 was the one I played right before my parents divorced, so that's the best one. <laughs> we'll have to see uh, which comes out on top. Jesus Christ. I stole that from Fox Andrew, I'm sorry. Okay, that's... <laughs> I am just, I just, I'm glad that there, that there are many multiple people with that sort of memory. <laughs> yeah. How's the results looking? Is one coming out ahead of the other? Don't say uh, which. I, I see one is coming out ahead, yes, but Ooh. I'm not going to say which. Interesting, interesting. I was expecting it to be a close battle, given how many people defend this game in particular. They say it fixes all the problems of Mega Man 2, and it's basically all killer, no filler. Meanwhile, I would argue, this game does something kind of interesting, in that it makes you revisit four of the stages before you fight Wily. What it does is it redesigns those levels to be all weird and fucked up looking, so more challenging in terms of level design. And, and, they put in bosses from Mega Man 2. Which is cool, but also it lengthens the game significantly, and it makes the game feel kind of like a slog if you play through it in one sitting. But also it has passwords, so if you slog through it, that's your fault. Lot to consider. 
I hope to end tonight's stream by beating Needle Man. You wanna beat Needle Man? Yeah. I wanna go out with a bang. You did pretty good tonight, I gotta Thank say. Thank you! Thank you! I tried my best. I think eventually, with enough training, you can beat that Guts Man sequence. I bet I could. It's just a lot to keep track of. Yeah, I don't like keeping track of a bunch of things. Me either. I'm just here to walk to the right and shoot. See? That's that's my goal in life. Without the shooting part in general. Okay, that's good. Yeah, yeah. Who among us does not just want to walk to the right and shoot? Same. I'm just saying what we're all thinking. All right, polls over, and we have a winner. Who's the winner, Alex? Mega Man 2. How did the vote shake out? Uh, 61% uh, 37 people said Mega Man 2, and 39% 24 people said Mega Man 3. Okay, so pretty close, but not as close as I would have expected. In years past, it would have been a near 50-50, but it turns out, in the modern era, more people appreciate Mega Man 2. And I, I guess I can reveal my thoughts in that situation. I do also like Mega Man 2 better than 3. 3 does a lot that's good. I did play this a lot as a kid, but I didn't play it as much as 2. And I played both of them before my parents divorced, so what do I know? <laughs> now where on this list are we putting this game as I fight the Needle Man? So probably not top 10. Maybe still top 50? I'm thinking top 50 might be appropriate. It might... I don't even... I don't know if it's top 20 appro appropriate even. What do the folks think? Number 50, we've got Downwell. I love Downwell. And then Tiny Toon Adventures on NES. Okay, what's at 40? That would be Castlevania on NES. Oh, I don't think this is better than Castlevania. Is this better than Popful Mail on Sega CD? Where, what place is that at? 44. Below Castlevania. I beat Needle Man. Is it better than Batman on NES? Hmm. I like Batman more. But these are good points of comparison. I'd feel good about putting it pretty much anywhere in here. Batman's better. It's better than Batman. This is better than Popful Mail. Popful Mail has God. This doesn't. Good point. Good, good point. Yeah. It's okay, a lot to consider. Out. Yeah. Below Batman. Where's Hard Man? Above New Super Mario Brothers U Deluxe. I think it's better than that. And I think it's, uh, I don't think it's as good as Batman. I think this is a good place. What do y'all think? The bees are here. Chat likes Hard Man. Spot I do too. on, sure, yeah. Oh, okay. Alright, put her there. We're doing it. Mega Man 3 in the top of 30 or 40 or whatever it is. I can't see the screen right now. I'm being swarmed by bees. It's at number 45. Nice. That's a good place for Mega Man 3. We can feel good about that. And Mega Man can feel good about that. He can. He can. Well, there you go. You can't say we've never ranked the NES Mega Mans. It's a new era for Retro Pals, where we actually play some games that are popular instead of just Bubsy all the damn time. How do you feel about yourself, Alex? I feel... educated. Yeah, I feel more worldly. Like, we've done something good for the world for once, instead of evil. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we're not evil. It's sometimes. not, uh, I mean, we gotta even things out sometimes. Yeah. It's felt like the, the bar is tilted towards the evil side, most recently. Yeah, too much evil. We need less evil going on. Well, with all the Hugo and Balan Wonderworlds, mm -hmm. it's good to play a game to remind us that, uh, games can be designed with kindness in their hearts designed for, for children to love them rather than to suffer. That's Mega Man. He wants to love you. He doesn't want you to suffer. Thank you, Mega Man. And with that, we're done. Mascot Friday's done. The week's done. And with that, it's officially the weekend. It's the weekend, baby. Enjoy your weekend. Do whatever you want. Play some Mega Man. Or don't. Or don't. I, I can't tell you what to do. Mm -hmm. Whatever you do, I hope you have fun. And if you're a patron, you need to look at our Patreon yes. right now. Head to patreon.com slash retropals. The next Retro Pals patron gauntlet is going to be next Wednesday. 
We've opened up requests once again for all of our patrons. If you're in at the $5 tier, or if you join right now and submit before Monday, you can tell us a game to play for next Wednesday's stream. These, uh, we've gotten some interesting submissions so far. <laughs> some stuff that's going to take us off the rails almost instantly. Some other stuff that's uh, interesting that I've meant to showcase before on stream but never had the chance. Whatever it is that we end up playing, we're probably going to have a good time. So please submit your favorite game, and we'll play it next Wednesday. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alex, please wrap us up. I'm going to look for a raid target. We are also on YouTube, youtube.com slash RetroPals. We post full-length highlights of our streams there, including the latest one, which is a look at Dragon's Lair 2. The second one. The second one. It's good. It's, it's funny, and it's got Duke. Not Duke. Dirk! Dirk! Duke, Duke! Duke the During! Duke the During! <laughs> Duke the Durian. We also got a Discord. Let me just pop that link in the chat. You can join us there to talk more about games, talk about streams, and of course to post your beautiful animals who we love. And last but not least, we are on co-host, co-host.org slash RetroPals. Post when we go live, then when we've got new videos up on YouTube. You can see fan art, all kinds of cool stuff. So do check out our co-host if you want to see us the most. Oh, that's bad. I'm so I'm so sorry. That's... Wow, great way to end the stream. No. Alex. <laughs> Check us out on co-host. Alex runs that, and I'm very yeah. proud of the work he does there. Good job, Thank Alex. You. Even if you're being banned. Fair enough. All right, I'm going to leave you with a streamer I've been watching lately. Digital Basic. Right now, Digi is playing Super Mario 64, going for 120 stars. Has never, ever finished the game before. Right now, they are on hour 10. So let's lend them their energy so they can finish this, this massive task ahead of them. So enjoy that. Have a good rest of your evening. We'll see you later. Thanks for watching. See ya, folks.